Hi, it's Becca and welcome to another episode of Neo Makeovers, where I transform homes, businesses, and anything else that has a wall with a beautiful custom mural. So in this episode, I'm here in Naples, Florida. Look at the beautiful view, blue skies. <laughs> um, I'm going to be transforming this wall right here behind me with a marble look type of mural. Uh, I'm really excited for this project. Uh, having a marble mural on this back wall is really going to tie in um, the beautiful decor here in this apartment. Um, there's a lot of silvers, there's a lot of whites, um, accents of a nice dark cobalt blue. So kind of having some of those accents into the marble mural here behind me, it's just going to look beautiful and really tie in everything together. So I'm super excited to teach you how to create your own marble mural. Uh, look for whether it's a home or for a business. So the first thing, number one, is make sure that you prep the wall. So what I mean by that. So I recommend buying a flat or matte paint um, to paint the wall first. Um, for example, in this case, you know, the base color of the mural is white and then we're gonna add some blue accents on top. So the wall almost acts like a, um, like paper. So it absorbs the paint like paper. So that's really important when you're trying to create this marble effect. You may not understand it now, but as we go through the process, it'll kind of all kind of uh, come together. So let's go over the basic materials that you will need to accomplish this mural. Uh, so the first thing is get about like a quart size of a dark blue. You see here over to the right, and then like a angle brush you see here in the middle, and then like a, a small container to um, add some water. Then over here we have, uh, you know, this plastic painter's um, plate with a sponge. Like I like to stick yellow sponges and then a, a thick brush um, to add for the gloss, as you see here to the left. Then we we'll go to the paints. So like a smaller sample, but of a darker blue than the first blue that you saw, as well as a white, and then kind of like a medium gray. Oh, and one more uh, material you're gonna need is a plastic shopping bag. All right, so we are ready to paint. So we already prepped the wall, we already painted it white, we already got our materials, and now we're gonna break it down, um, creating this mural into three phases. Uh, the first phase, is to lay down the base blue color. Then the second phase is adding the layers and veins of the murals. And then the third phase is adding the gloss to the mural to give it a super glossy finish type of look. All right, so let's do it together. So for example, in phase one, we're going to start painting the blue lines with an angle brush. So once we do the, with the angle brush, we lay down like the blue um, blocks of color. Then we're gonna grab a sponge, we're gonna wet it, and then we're going to kind of spread out the blue around. So you're gonna see kind of different layers of the blue. Almost kind of gives a little bit of watercolor effect. is we're gonna grab a plastic bag, scrunch it up, and we're, we're gonna dab the wall. And it almost kind of creates like this texture. Also, another great tip is make sure that you print out a piece of paper of your design or of the marble so you can, you know, constantly be looking at it and use it as reference. So you can see how to kind of lay out the different colors, or in this example, the different blues throughout the mural. So just so you have a point of reference.
So another important tip when you're doing this type of mural, this marble look, is you gotta make sure that you move fast. It's really important to kind of create these textures and move the sponge while the paint is wet. For example, I use uh, acrylic latex, so that it does dry pretty quickly. Uh, so make sure that you're moving quickly. And the more you do it, the more you'll have kind of like a process. Um, and it's just gonna be, you'll be able to repeat and do it faster. But really important that you move quickly when you're doing this type of work. Okay, so in phase two, we're going to be adding more layers of paint to existing base blue color and adding the gray marble veins as well. So the first thing we do is we grab a little bit more paint, we put it on top of the base color, then with a sponge, again, we kind of recreate the same type of organic look to it and just adding layers and layers and then sponging out. So you're kind of repeating the process. And again, you make sure that you have your picture as a reference to see how or what areas you add more layers to or not. Then step two is you're gonna add, adding the veins of the marble. So it's really simple. You're gonna grab like a small type of brush, an angle brush, preferably a really small one. And you're kind of going to organically create the veins. So I recommend using the same blue um, as you did for like the base blue color, adding the veins out. And at the same time, then getting the white, a little bit larger brush, and you're going to brush it on top. Now, by doing that, you still see the blue, but it's a little bit more transparent because of the white. So it kind of gives it a more of a subtle type of look. course you know the more you um, get into the marble mural maybe you want to add a little bit more detail to it you know you're free to do so then you know kind of repeating the process and then along the way you're going to kind of create your own process and technique or oh, i kind of like add more of this type of texture or like to do sponge it in this type of way but at least you have kind of like the fundamental idea and then it's kind of based on you how you know how you kind of wanted to make it look like more of? Do you want a little more subtle marble? Do you want more of a, an exaggerative um, type of marble look? It all depends on ultimately what is your goal and that's why it's so important to have an image for reference. And then for phase three, which is my favorite, is a glossing over the mural. Now, I use this, uh, use this type of paint and it's fantastic. Um, I recommend using a separate brush, a go as wide angle, big brush as you can find um, for this. So kind of like the brushes I use to um, stain as well, you can use that as well. Uh, a brush that you haven't used before. It's clean, it's brand new. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna dip it into this clear varnish now the smell is really strong. So make sure that you're in a ventilated area, open the windows. Uh, for example, here I have to open the balcony. So a lot of fresh air comes in. It is kind of toxic. So make sure you're wearing a mask, either N95 or the type of mask for spray painting. Really important because it is strong and it's toxic, but the smell goes away within an hour after you apply it. So the best way to apply uh, this clear gloss is start from the bottom and then just go straight all the way up until you reach the top of the wall. And then you move over a little bit and then you repeat the same process. So this helps you kind of make the strokes even and make sure that you cover every part of the wall.
It also takes about, for it to completely dry between four to six hours, depending on the room temperature and the humidity. So of course, keep that in mind. What I love about this effect is that it's such a nice finishing touch to the mural. It makes it look almost like a marble because it gives a super shiny, perfect type of look um, to it. And it really pulls everything together and it looks beautiful. And, and I've used this varnish for like many other things as well. So free, free to use it for your paintings also uh, to give it like a nice clear glossy look. It almost gives it, for example, if you use resin before, it kind of gives it that. Watching the video, I hope you learned a lot. I'm really excited to see your marble mural look in your home or business. Um, please comment down below. I'd love to hear your feedback or if you have any questions of the process of the mirror and want me to go a little bit more in detail, please feel free to just message down below. Uh, make sure to support and like subscribe to see more um, how to do murals. You can do in your home, home or business or you have any ideas you would like uh, any video ideas you would like for me to do, please comment down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.